This is a project a year in the making. Our team worked with the assessor's office to obtain and put into a database the details of who owned every piece of property in Santa Clara County as of the end of 2018. Then we crunched the numbers to find out exactly who owns Silicon Valley. Property records show taxable land value in Santa Clara County now exceeds $519 billion, and the property assessor estimates the market value exceeds $1.5 trillion. It's hard to live in this economy. But all of that wealth leaves behind thousands of working class folks like Felix Diaz and his wife Marielle. They raise the price. A lot. A janitor at NASA Ames, Felix and his family had to fight to stay in the apartment they've rented for 11 years after the complex was sold and the new unnamed owners tried to raise the rent and prompted some of Diaz's neighbors to leave. They started doing things like trying to make us evict us. Diaz would like to know exactly who owns and controls the apartments where he lives. Do you know who actually owns them? No, we don't. Would you like to know? Probably. We knew the uh, previous owner because he was always here. Our investigation uncovered that the new owners of Diaz's apartment complex include four different entities, including a real estate attorney and an LLC, making it difficult for Diaz or any resident to go to any one person in case of problems like he did in the past. Well, yeah, it made us frustrated. Why are we seeing higher rates in these cities? What is going on with Google? How much have they bought? That would just be a good data question for you all to answer. That's why we teamed with Telemundo 48, the Mercury News, KQED, and Reveal from the Center for Investigative Reporting in an unprecedented year-long investigation. How is there even oversight? Like, if you picture your bell curve... We were able to just find some big owners... ...to examine every property record in Santa Clara County to find out exactly who owns each piece of Silicon Valley. This map shows the top 10 owners that we found through our analysis of 500,000 property records. Leading the way, Stanford University, which has owned property since the 1880s, by far the largest owner in monetary value in Santa Clara County. Next on the list, relatively recent landowners, Apple, around since 1976, and Google, founded in 1998. They're followed by developers, the Irvine and J. Paul companies, then Cisco, Essex Property Trust, Intel, Sobrato Organization, and Prometheus Real Estate Group. Like Apple and Google, much of this ownership began relatively recently, including during the second wave of the tech boom following the 2008 recession. Compare the ownership boom and the rise in jobs since then with an almost identical increase in rents and the medium price for a home. And you can see how the economic growth is also pricing out middle class and lower wage earners. Well, there's no question that this is all of our problem. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo says the huge amount of income and property ownership by these corporations also creates a problem. Over the last six to seven years, we've seen job growth exceed housing production by a ratio of six to one, and that's a recipe for disaster. Mayor Licardo and property assessor Larry Stone say neither the cities that embrace these new jobs nor the companies that bring them have done enough to build enough housing to keep up. I don't think any major tech company is doing enough. Housing development is not keeping up with employment growth. Former Mountain View Mayor Lenny Siegel places even more blame on all the local political leaders who he says didn't do enough to require big tech to pay up and help provide more housing and infrastructure when they first came to town. Some of the communities around here have a sense of exclusivity. They don't want to have the lower income people living there. So the cities uh, in northern Santa Clara County in particular historically have emphasized job growth and not not residential growth. Less than 10% of our teachers live here in, in Palo Alto. Less than 7% of our city staff lives here in Palo Alto. Everyone Mayor Eric knows. Vilseth says that makes it hard to hire anyone to work in Palo Alto, prompting the city council in 2016 to take drastic action. We began taking measures uh, to try to uh, constrain job growth uh, to the point where we could realistically keep up on housing. And you know it's going to kill us. Assessor Stone says not enough has been done. He compares Silicon Valley to Detroit during the automotive boom of the 1950s and 60s. Detroit's been in bankruptcy. The population has gone from 2 million to 600,000. And I truly believe that if we do not solve our housing problem in general, that we will eventually go the way of Detroit. 
Most of the top property owners, such as Apple and Cisco, declined our offer to discuss these issues. Property management for Felix's building did respond and said that they follow all the laws and do not take evictions lightly, noting that they've served only two unlawful detainers since taking over. We also spoke to another company that's embracing these expectations and the challenges of actually building new housing, creating a company town as it were, even while drawing criticism from some who will be displaced as that company grows. We'll have that story and that company tonight at 11 o'clock. We'll see you then.